there, everyone. This is Teacher RJ, and you're watching Empowerment Technology Lesson One today. Gaano na nga ba ka high tech ang mundo ngayon? Sa bilyon bilyong tao sa mundo, ilan na nga lang ba ang hindi pa naaabot ng technology? At sigurado ako na lahat kayong nanonood ngayon ay bahagi na din ng digital age. Mga naabot na din ng teknolohiya dahil kung hindi, paano mo naman ito mapapanood, diba? Sure din ako na nagawa mo na din tumawag o mag-text gamit ang mobile phone mo. Minsan pa nga, magre ka pa sa computer shop para mag-browse and gather information about something you wanted to know. Kaya manood ng K-pop idol mo or ng K-drama na favorite mo, ng favorite vlogger mo, at ang matindi sa lahat ang paglalaro mo ng favorite online games mo. Alam mo ba na ang lahat ng ito ay dahil sa Information and Communication Technology or kilala sa tawag na ICT? Well, ano nga ba itong ICT? According to Tech Target, ang ICT ay sinasabing walang eksaktong definition. Generally, ito ay tumutukoy sa lahat ng devices, network components, applications and systems na nagpa-facilitate ng interaction with the digital world. Katulad ng cellphone mo, ng computer, internet, server, satellites, and the like. Simon of 2005 pointed out that ICT has invaded and transformed many aspects of our lives to the extent that we live in an environment that is dominated by technology, which itself is consumer-driven. At aminin man natin sa hindi, it makes our work and communication easier and faster. And to dig more information about ICT means acquiring 21st century skills that we need so we can keep up with this vast, changing world brought by the digital age. To fully understand this topic, let us talk first with some terms that you may encounter on our discussion today. One is web page. Ang webpage is literal na page ng isang website. Let's have this simple website I created using Wix.com. Ang interface nito ay isang example ng webpage. If I click the videos or blog the button right here, it will brought me to another webpage. Or if I click the social media icon, say Facebook, ang magpapop up ay yung webpage ng Facebook. At alam mo ba, na ang pinaka-draft ng webpage ay sets of text files coded with special notation called Hypertext Markup Language or kilala sa tawag na... Ganito siya talaga. See that? The reason na nakikita mo siya na colorful like this ay dahil na interpret na ng web browser mo ang mga code niya yan. So, magpasalamat tayo sa mga web browsers like Google, Safari, EcoAsia, Edge, MozillaVox, etc. Ang galing, diba? If you want to check the code of how a colorful web pages are built, you can do right-click on a web page you want to check and look for a view page source. And there you go.
mga websites, web pages, information, videos, photos, documents, etc. which are known to be web resources, ika nga, ay nakastore lahat sa tinatawag nating World Wide Web. Think of it this way. Para siyang isang malaking virtual system type na library kung saan natin na-access ang iba't ibang klase ng information. And we are indeed lucky to access it for free basta't may mga internet lang tayo. Internet serves as our information superhighway because it allows us to reach the World Wide Web. By the way, meet the legendary man behind the World Wide Web. Tim Berners-Lee, you're the man, sir. These are the versions of web. Ano bang pinagkaiba ng tatlong to? For the web 1.0, ito ang pinakaunang klase ng web page kung saan literal na read-only web dahil static lang siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pwede maglagay ng comment, hindi mo pwede ma-edit, hindi ka pwede mag-create ng account, at mababago lang ang content ng web page kapag binago ng mismong developer or administrator. Madalas ang mga website na static ay yung mga informational. Literal na magbabasa lang ang mga user like you at pare-pareho lang kayo na nakikitang format ng web page. So again, so web 1.0, users just consult web pages and for the most part, do not participate in generating content. Next version of web is the 2.0. Ang Web 2.0 naman ay ang evolution ng Web 1.0, also known as dynamic web page. Pag sinabing dynamic, it also allow users to create content and interact with sites and with each other. Also, the user can see a website differently than others. Paano naman yon?